What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you guys a new ROM for our Samsung Galaxy Grand Deus which is based on Android version 7.0 Nougat. Yes, we have the Nougat ROM finally and it is like the unofficial Cyanogen mod ROM but it works pretty pretty good. So today I'll be showing you to flash it and also I'll be showing you or giving you my initial impressions of using this ROM for around two days or something so yeah without any further ado let's get started so the thing i'll do is first i'll be showing you guys the features of this rom and at the end of the video i'll be showing you guys how to flash it onto your samsung galaxy grand duos and also make sure that you're having the grand duos itself and not the grand 2 all other devices the model number should be i9082 uh, i'll just quickly show you if it's over here yeah there you can see build number is i9082 and it is the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos. Do not write on Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 or, or other Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos phones uh, because it won't work on them and it'll probably soft brick or break your devices. Uh, but yeah, if you have a Grand Duos, you may try it on your device as well. Spoiler alert, this is not like a complete stable ROM, but if you want a taste of Nougat or if you have just a device lying around, then you can flash it on your device. So yeah, if you just quickly go into settings real quick uh, I'll be showing you guys what all features we have in this ROM so you don't have the blue accents which was like really expected because it's not 7.1 though it's 7.0 uh, as you can see you get the settings here like the nougat itself you get the suggestions tab on the top of here then if you go down you can see the Wi-Fi that we are connected without even going into the Wi-Fi section so Bluetooth is disabled if you go into display uh, there you can see we have the adaptive brightness as well uh, we have live display unfortunately in this we don't have the night mode uh, okay I think we do so if I just hit on night there you go the color did change so yeah we do have the night mode we can even toggle the live display as per our wish uh, if we do it automatic it may sense the time of the day and adjust the tint accordingly uh, but yeah we have the night mode in this as well we also have the ambient display i don't know if it works or not i haven't tried it yet but if it's there it should work basically uh, then we have the display size so we this is like a really really good feature in, in android nougat uh, in which we could change the display size of our device so if i just do it default everything like increases the size itself so we'll just do it for a second here there you go this is like this is like really default one but i prefer it to be on the smaller one because that like really really gives us a pixel experience like five icons uh, uh, here on the home screen and stuff like that but yeah you could that's like a personal preference and stuff then going back here again we have the screen saver expanded desktop even the cast which is like uh, really expected then if you go down into notifications you have the app per basis notifications that you can give uh, to a particular app and stuff then going back here we have sound and here we can basically toggle the sounds uh, the ringtones are like cyanogen mode if I just quickly show you there you can see they can see these were the cyanogen mode ringtones and stuff other than that we can just uh, hit on other sounds and you can toggle the vibrate on tap and stuff that's like a basic cyanogen mode feature there then if you go into storage we get the sd card and internal storage a good thing is rom is that we can select our sd card as an internal storage as well so if we just tap on here uh, storage settings let's see format as internal there you can see you can also select the uh, SD card that you have as an internal storage so all the applications that you download will directly go into the SD card which will be the which will be your internal storage basically so the grand uh, has like let's see uh, we have 4 GB of internal storage and I have a 8 GB SD card so 8 plus 4 will be 12 gigs of internal storage so but the thing here is if you remove the sd card for any reason you have to format your sd card in order to use it again so that's really downside but yeah you could you could if if this is a permanent device or stuff you could use it as an internal storage as well then going down into battery life the thing about battery life is it's like really really inconsistent uh i haven't tested it out yet but 
I, my guess is R. It won't be as good as the ROMs because it's basically it's an official ROM. So Battle Life, you could not expect more from the Battle Life. So yeah, going down to the memory, as you can see, this is the new good feature as well. So you could like uh, select the apps that you want to start on boot and stuff. You could also stop it if you don't want that app. But yeah, also it gives us the approximate applications that are in the memory. So 15 apps are used in the memory. Uh, the RAM information, uh, 300 MB is free, 59% is used and other stuff. Then going down into users, there you can see our the thing we uh, the the user that is signed in is over here you can also change the users by going into here you could add the guest and stuff but going down into buttons uh, you could select the backlight time for the buttons here so you could select from 5 seconds to up to 35 seconds and stuff uh, also you could end call using power button wake up the device uh, you could like see this for yourself and uh, it's basically on personal preference to choose the buttons and toggle them as for your wish then going down you have location security accounts privacy all the basic cyanogen mode stuff uh, then going down here we have status bar information so we could like control the status bar icons that if we want so it opens the system ui tuner so let's see if you don't want the wi-fi toggle so if you could like uh, uncheck this the Wi-Fi still will be connected but the only thing is the icon or the toggle won't be there on the top. So if you have like a crowded status bar you could select this and empty it as per your wish. Also the clock style uh, you could place it on the right or at the center that's as per your wish as well. Also the battery style we could do text and stuff. Let's see. Okay I think there's a bug over here. Yep there we go this is like the first <laughs> bug uh but yeah we could select the percentage next to the icon oops even that's not working let's see if we just do it again if you do it on the right hand side then if you select the nope so yeah this is not working as you saw here uh quick pull down is working from the right hand side there we go it directly opens the quick toggles while if we do it from the left hand side it will give you the notification access then going down you have show weather brightness control notification count and stuff even double tap to sleep so if you double tap on status bar it goes to sleep also here you could take a look at the lock screen which is pretty basic uh, then we go back we go to system ui tuner and other so you could wow split screen work in this as well so we'll just try it uh, later okay we'll just try it now so if i just open settings and if I open, let's say, my messages, then if I go into recents, and if I select settings, and if I drag it over here, and then if I select messages, there you go. It's it's like pretty pretty smooth. I did not expect it to be this smooth in this ROM, uh, but yeah, it's it's working pretty pretty smooth as you can see. There you go. That's like really really smooth. You can also resize it as per your wish that works really really good that i didn't even expect it to be this smooth but it is though uh wow that's that's pretty cool if you go into about phone again we get the sirens and one updates so allow so we'll get the updates weekly or manually or even when we boot it it will check for updates uh as per your wish over here and if there's an update you could update and install it directly from over here then they can see android version 7.0 there you go and the model number is gt i9082 again keep in mind this will only work on this particular model itself uh, and again the cyanogen model is 14.0 and also the one good thing over here is the google now on tap works there is no google assistant over here but we can access the Google now won't tap. Also one good thing in this ROM here is you can download the pixel launcher directly from the play store. So all the pixel features work on this that you can basically download from the play store itself. So you could download the pixel launcher, the wallpapers app, the daydream. I think you could download the daydream uh, from the play store but I'm not particularly sure about that. Uh, but yeah, other than that everything works. The only thing that doesn't work uh, except from the status bar options uh is the camera 
the camera in this thing doesn't seem to work at all so they can see it just gives us a blank screen and i tried downloading open camera from the play store but that also doesn't work it says camera has stopped and stuff there you go it it hanged for okay yep uh i think uh it will work if you download the google camera but i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure though uh but yeah you could try it for yourself uh so yeah the camera and the status bar things are are the only things that are not working now we're going to flash it it's like pretty pretty simple just have to have a custom recovery installed uh let's say a twrp recovery or even cwm recovery works here on this one i'm having the fills recovery which is the fills touch recovery i'm not sure if that is the latest version or not uh because i haven't touched this device like you know in a really really long while but yeah if you have a twrp recovery cwm recovery or even fills recovery it'll work fine so for now if you have a fills recovery just have to do is go into wipe data factory reset uh, select that uh, hit on the clean to install a new rom then hit on yes i'll install a new rom and then you're good to go but if you're on twrp recovery you just have to do is go into wipe select dalvik art cache system and data and swipe to erase the system and stuff and then install your new rom just have to do is go install zip uh, sd card and stuff and then install the new rom and then just reboot the system and then you're good to go also, I'll be showing you guys the new boot animation, which is like normal, the Cyanogen mod boot animation that we get on other devices. It's that itself, uh, but you can take a look at yourself. But yeah, for now, that's been it, guys. Thank you for this video. This is like the first 7.1 Nougat ROM that we get on our Galaxy Grand Duos. Uh, more to come, I guess. But yeah, if, if more 7.0 ROM or 7.1 ROMs come, I'll be making a video on them as well. But yeah, for now, that's been it, guys. Uh, thank you for this video. As you can see, this is the boot animation itself. Uh, and yeah, do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in my next one.